What you're about to see is not magic. It's a real science experiment. Punch a hole in the bottom of a bowl with a nail. The bowl breaks when knocked, but when you put a bowl in the water, it's easy to punch a perfect round hole. This is the buffering force of water. The thin paper of chewing gum can be cut easily. Align the positive and negative electrodes of a battery to start a fire in the wild. That's the law of electrical resistance. What should you do if the cola pull ring is broken? Take a chopstick and rub it against the mouth of the can. The Coke will open by itself. That's the power of friction. A piece of paper ignites easily by fire. But if you wrap a glass inside the paper, even if the paper turns black, it won't burn. That's heat conduction. A ruler placed in the air falls off when touched. But when you cover it with a thin piece of paper, the ruler won't fall. This is the power of atmospheric pressure. After breaking a match, roll the match head and stick it into some foil. Pinch the top tightly and make a tail with the tin foil. Place it on a heating plate to simulate a rocket launch. Pour a mixture of potassium permanganate and sugar onto the wood. Rub it with a stick a few times and you've learned another way to start a fire in the wild. Rub the glass on the mouth of a beer bottle a few times, then tap lightly. A mushroom cloud blooms in the bottle and beer will gush out. This demonstrates how atomic bombs work. It's hard to stick a straw through a potato, but if you pinch one end of the straw with your finger and poke hard, it will instantly insert into the potato. This shows the power of compressed air. Add baking soda to a glass, then secretly pour in white vinegar. The unknown gas formed by mixing the two can extinguish two rows of burning candles. That's how a CO2 fire extinguisher works. Put a piece of paper and a screw between two magnets. Connect the positive electrode of a battery to the magnet with a wire and the paper will spin fast. This is how an electric fan works.